Now let's take a look at how to run our Flutter app. Now we haven't set up our course project, but I want to show you how to use the Flutter VS Code extension in order to hot reload our code in development. It'll make running and developing our project a lot easier, as well as the older and what I think is more cumbersome approach of using the Flutter CLI. So first of all, if you're using VS Code, make sure that you have the Flutter extension installed. I mentioned it in the previous video. And once you've got that brought in, we can begin using it. And first of all, use it to spin up a simulator or emulator, depending on whether you want to use an iOS device or an Android device, you can use either. It can use any device that you already have installed on your computer. And to bring that up, you just need to go to View and Command Palette. The shortcut for that is Shift Command P if you're using Mac, or I believe Shift Control P if you're using Windows. And to start our emulator, we can just type in Flutter Launch Emulator. And from there, we have a list of all of our installed and set up devices and we can select whichever one we want. So for example, I'm going to select an iOS simulator and note that you can create a new one on the fly if you like a new Android emulator, but I'll select iOS. That's going to open the emulator. And to start up our project, we can just open the command palette once again, assuming we have a project open and we can go to debug or type in debug, start debugging, and from there, we need to select what language we want to use, what environment. And here we're going to select Dart and Flutter. And that's going to start the debugger. We see the toolbar at the bottom that it's launching it and it's going to build our project on the simulator. And note that we have a lot of different tools here up at the top that can do a number of different things. First of all, what I think are the most important tools are the hot reload button. You can do that in order to reload your project, but to maintain the state, so for example, if you're not familiar with hot reloading, if you want to keep any changes that you've made within your app, for example, applying text to a text input, filling out a form, something like that, if you don't want that state to be reset, then you want to hot reload your code. You can do that, or usually when you save, a hot reload takes place. But if you do want to update your project, restart the simulator entirely, you can click on this restart button to restart it completely. So here you have hot reload versus restart. And then you also have the stop button to stop the process entirely. So you see when I click the stop button, that stops everything. Now one shortcut I want to point out when you start up your application is that you can just open the command palette and select start debugging. You do not have to have a simulator open. So if I close my simulator and select start debugging. It's going to ask what environment I want. It'll be Dart and Flutter. And then it's going to ask me what simulator. So you really just have to run one command. And so again, we see our debugging tools. And one more thing to take note of is that since we are in fact using a debugger, it will enable us to use breakpoints and catch any errors that we might have within our code. Be mindful of that because we might have one of these checkbox selected here on the left hand side for uncaught exceptions. So if you happen to see a tooltip show up when your project starts indicating an error, you might have to step over that breakpoint that was hit. So you might have to click on this step over button. So unless you want to actually debug your code, I'd recommend unclicking all of these, these breakpoint options. So that's the basics of working with the Flutter VS Code extension. There's not much to it. It's really helpful and you'll get a lot of experience with it when we develop our app. And note that anything that you want to print that would normally be shown in the terminal will now be shown in the debug console. So we see here any log statements and any errors are generally going to show up in this debug console. So be mindful of that. And of course, if you don't want to use the Flutter extension to run your project, you can simply run it from the terminal with the command flutter run once you have a simulator or emulator open. So to launch an emulator or a simulator using the flutter CLI, you can just run flutter emulators dash dash launch and then provide the ID of the emulator or simulator that you want to spin up, for example, iOS. And when you run that, we see the simulator open up. And after that, assuming you're within your project, you can just run flutter run and it'll go through the same steps as our 
Flutter extension. Note that any errors or print lines are going to show up in the terminal and not the debug console in such an event. 